That view is. Yesterday, this city was a ghost town. Today, holy shit. Uh, straight, huh? straight, straight. I'm supposed to tell the taxi guy where I'm going, but I don't know where I'm going. I think I arrived where I'm going. Oh, that office is closed. I was here two years ago. I kind of remember some of it. I don't remember most of it. So I'm just gonna walk around and figure it out. There are a bunch of different factories here. This area is all mixed use. There are factories and there are also homes here. For example, that one there, they make some sort of, uh, it's wood pieces to hold plants together. They make it there and then they ship them out all over the world. Getting lost in a weird place where I have no idea. I don't know where I am. I think I know. I'm supposed to have a meeting half hour ago. The same roads that I just touched in China, they're right here, Home Depot's website. I think I found it. Here they're working on this brand new design. I can't really show you, so I'm gonna blur it. But he's working on the uh, on the next iteration of, of the splash room. Now, uh, outside what, again, looks like, looks like apartment buildings, but it's actually a factory. That's a factory, I don't know what they make. On the fifth floor, it's uh, the splash room factory, where the splash room is made. So we're gonna go up now. That's the gasket that makes the splash room waterproof. Just got a delivery right now. This is a typical drone factory. All those drones that you see, uh, this is pretty typical. I've seen several of these. Factories up there, factories down there. How you doing? Nice to meet you. There are hundreds of splash runs being made. Better lighting. There are hundreds of splash runs being made right now. Each drone gets put together by hand, one by one, on the other side, and then it comes here for it to for the software to be uploaded and for it to be tested. I don't even know where to start. I'm so excited just to be standing here. I'm gonna talk to a few of the people, or I'm gonna go check out what they're doing. So he's, she's uploading the, uh, the gimbal parameters right now. Making sure that the Bluetooth module works. So this one, this gimbal now has all the firmware in it. The Bluetooth module works, and it's ready to be put on on a splash phone. All the gimbals are ready. The propeller for this particular drone is kind of unique because you don't only have the carbon fiber piece, you also have a plastic piece that makes it fit tight on the motor. Moving on. This is the propeller before it's assembled. And then this is the propeller after it's been assembled. The payload release system.
raining. It was raining, it looks like there was a leak. This is the radio for the Splashdown 3. This is only the shell. The shell by itself first comes to this station and a person inspects every single shell to make sure that there, there are no scratches. If there's an issue, it gets marked and... You notice that she's just looking at it, looking at every single point of it, making sure that it's not scratched, that nothing's broken. And that both pieces come together without problems. It's 11.50 right now, and these are all the remote controls that have already been inspected today. This is the monitor that goes in the remote control. It comes in boxes ready to be put together. That's really cool. So from this station, I want to walk into the other station where the rest of the uh, parts are being put together. And I'm going to start right at the beginning. <coughs> So that camera chip just got here and they're getting it ready to put it in the drone. This is the top part of the camera gimbal. This area is where they install the dampers, the vibration dampers. That's all they do here. On this wall are all the parts that are needed to put together a splash drone. From the motors to the cameras to the, let's see what is in here. Foam, this is foam to hold the battery in place. What else? Instruction manual. The top of the gimbal, just a piece of foam. When you get it, you throw it away. Oh yeah, this is just, uh, this is just a box. Lunch time. Everybody leaves their station and goes out to lunch. Everybody punches out their card, goes through that door, and goes to eat. This floor is completely empty. I don't want to call it a shopping center, but it's some sort of shopping center. just talking about uh, the drone business <laughs> what do you say what do you say it's a, it's a one step go wrong no, you, are, you are dying <laughs> two years ago how many companies remember we went to lunch uh, one time and there were two different groups with drones yes remember yeah. and a lot of those companies are gone it's not easy out of a hundred companies drone companies out open in China how many stay stay alive <laughs> in five Five or ten? <laughs> a big factory, a big company. They think, ah, oh, yeah, the drone is it's easy for me. So we have big factory, we have everything. They are good engineer, and they, they they just jump into the, the drone uh, markets. They do very good mold, very good design. A mold is easy, <laughs> forty thousand, sixty thousand. <laughs> they go to different show. They they try, ah, oh, yes, we can compete with DJI. We have everything. <laughs> no one can compete but with DJI. They never say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you how they test the drones here. Every single drone gets flown. This elevator looks like it's out of a movie, <laughs> out of a sci-fi movie. Right now they're testing drones because the rain kind of stopped for a little bit. The drone itself is waterproof, but nobody wants to get wet. That's another factory over there. They bring six drones up here, they test everything, test all the features, and once that drone passes the inspection, it goes back downstairs to get packed and get shipped. When something brand new comes out, it gets tested in the net. 
there's really no chance for the drone to fly away. And but here we have a we have a victim. Also turning off the radio. What happens when you turn the radio off? What's supposed to happen is the drone is supposed to come back home and land at its takeoff position and that's exactly what happened just now. I just want to take a moment here for myself and say two and a half years ago when I quit my job the last thing I thought I was going to be doing two years later was to be on a roof in China testing drones. <laughs> that is so crazy. Wow. If you just stay here for five seconds and you hear the sound that's coming out of that city of factories, because that's really what it is. This is not a political statement. If anyone out there thinks that, whether it's Trump, whether it's Obama, whether it's Hillary, if they say that they're going to bring manufacturing back to America, they're just using, they're just bullshitting you. They know. This country has the most efficient manufacturing network in the history of the world. And if you talk to anyone here in China, you know they're not about to just let that go. Right now he's checking the vibration of each propeller. This is to make sure that after the propeller gets assembled, it's nice and balanced. If it, if it doesn't pass, it has to go back into that room so that they can balance the propeller. Then it comes back here for testing. This is the packing department. It's too dark in here, let me turn the lights on. These are the cases where the splash rooms go in. Once they're ready, they come in this room and they get packed up. I'm gonna spend at least 30 minutes at each station so that I can understand the process of putting a drone together much better. I'm actually gonna start with putting together propellers. The job itself is really easy, but doing it for eight hours a day. Every single splash drone gets water tested to make sure that there's no water leaks. I live in two days. For now, I leave you with this view. The struggle with the humidity is real. 